Y'all are the audience filled with millennials. Y'all are the new next um, generation who are definitely techno savvy and have the advantage of having all the knowledge at your fingertips. So, um, <clears throat> what I was trying to tell you is um, since y'all are techno savvy and all of y'all have, um, you know, various apps available to you, uh, I mean, there is all the information that you need to know about the industry, whether it's manufacturing, about the trends or designing, it's all at your fingertips. So um, there is, of course, Instagram and, um, you know, there are jewel, uh, jewelry bloggers. There's, it's, it's all available to you. So my advice to you is, like, go out there, get to know as much as you can about everything in the industry. Don't restrict yourself only to designing. So, uh, well, besides that, um, in my 30 years of uh, experience working, learning, uh, teaching in the industry, um, two things have stayed with me throughout no matter what. And I'd like to share that with you. The first being, um, always remain a student for your entire lifetime. I guess all of you all have done courses over here on jewelry designing, is it? So um, uh, what institutes have you all uh, basically learned from? All of you all? SNDT? So, so I guess you all did a lot of designing and did you all learn about uh, manufacturing and, and a little bit of all that, right? So. Uh, one thing is always remain a student is what I'm trying to tell you. So in, in, in my 30 years of working in the industry, there hasn't gone like a single day gone by where I don't learn something new. There's so much information available out there that uh, just cultivate enough curiosity, go out, learn everything that you need to know, not only about designing, but your manufacturing, marketing, who is your target group, who are your customers, you know, pricing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just make sure you ask enough questions about everything that you need to know and learn about the industry. That's my first thing. So, and secondly, um, I guess you guys would all go out and what plans do you all have? Do you, are you all intending to work for yourselves or join a company freelance? I guess it'll be nice if you work for somebody for a bit just so that you have hands-on experience in, um, you know, learning the basic trade. So whatever you do, whatever is your calling, my thing is do it with passion. Put your body, mind, heart, soul in and, and do it with even that little job, whatever you're getting, just put your heart into it and make the most of it and enjoy your work. And we could see that out of the 10 designers that put in their work, there were a couple of them who did like brilliant work. And you could tell that that designer has thought the design through, has worked on technique, has worked on um, the raw materials, about manufacturing, and you know, that designer has thought even about sales. So, and when you put your mind and heart to your work, it shows. So there are no shortcuts. So go out there, learn, learn something new every day and all the best. <laughs>